Welcome to Daily Scripture and Meditation with Shirley Celis Jackson. We begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wednesday, the 9th of August, 2023, of the 18th week in Ordinary Time, is the optional memorial of St. Teresa Benedicta of the Cross known as Edith Stein. Nothing ought to give so great a joy to one that loves you and knows your benefits as the accomplishment of your will in one's self and the good pleasure of your eternal appointment. Daily Prayer Lord Jesus, your love and mercy knows no bounds. May I trust you always and pursue you with indomitable persistence as this woman did. Increase my faith in your saving power and deliver me from all evil and harm. Amen. Introduction to the Liturgy of the Word Born in 1891, Edith Stein grew up in a German-Jewish household and became an atheist at the age of 14. While studying philosophy, however, she converted to Catholicism. At the age of 42, she entered the Carmelites as Teresa Benedicta of the Cross. At her profession in 1938, in the face of growing, German anti-Semitism, she told her prioress. Human action cannot help us, but only the sufferings of Christ. My aspiration is to share them. In 1942, the Gestapo apprehended Teresa at the Carmel in Eck, Holland. Seven days later, she perished in the gas chamber at Auschwitz. John Paul II canonized her in 1998 as a martyr for love. The Epistle They Despise the Desirable Land A reading from the Book of Numbers, Chapter 13, Verse 1 the Lord said to Moses in the desert of Paran, Send men to reconnoiter the land of Canaan, which I am giving the children of Israel. You shall send one man from each ancestral tribe, all of them princes. After reconnoitering the land for forty days, they returned, met Moses and Aaron, and the whole congregation of the children of Israel in the desert of Paran at Kadesh made a report to them all and showed the fruit of the country to the whole congregation. They told Moses, We went into the land to which you sent us. It does indeed flow with milk and honey, and here is its fruit. However, the people who are living in the land are fierce, and the towns are fortified and very strong. Besides, we saw descendants of the Amalekites live in the region of the Negeb. Hittites, Jebusites, and Amorites dwell in the highlands, and the Canaanites along the seacoast and the banks of the Jordan. Caleb, however, to quiet the people toward Moses said, we ought to go up and seize the land, for we can certainly do so. But the men who had gone up with him said, We cannot attack these people, they are too strong for us. So they spread discouraging reports among the children of Israel about the land they had scouted, saying, The land that we explored is a country that consumes its inhabitants and all the people we saw there are huge, veritable giants. The Anakim were a race of giants. We felt like mere grasshoppers, and so we must have seemed to them. At this, the whole community broke out with loud cries, and even in the night, the people wailed. 
The Lord said to Moses and Aaron, How long will this wicked assembly grumble against me? I have heard the grumblings of the children of Israel against me. Tell them, By my life, says the Lord, I will do to you just what I have heard you say. Here in the desert shall your dead bodies fall. Forty days you spent in scouting the land. Forty years shall you suffer for your crimes, one year for each day. Thus you will realize what it means to oppose me. I, the Lord, have sworn to do this to all this wicked assembly that conspired against me. Here in the desert they shall die to the last man. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 106 Responsorial Verse Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. We have sinned, we and our fathers. We have committed crimes. We have done wrong. Our fathers in Egypt considered not your wonders. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. But soon they forgot his works. They waited not for his counsel. They gave way to craving in the desert and tempted God in the wilderness. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They forgot the God who had saved them, who had done great deeds in Egypt, wondrous deeds in the land of Ham, terrible things at the Red Sea. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Then he spoke of exterminating them, but Moses, his chosen one, withstood him in the breach to turn back his destructive wrath. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia A great prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. Alleluia, Alleluia Alleluia. The Gospel O woman, great is your faith. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 15, verse 21. At that time, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon, and behold, a Canaanite woman of that district came and called out, Have pity on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But he did not say a word in answer to her. His disciples came and asked him, Send her away, for she keeps calling out after us. He said in reply, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But the woman came and did him homage, saying, Lord, help me. He said in reply, It is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She said, Please, Lord, for even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters. Then Jesus said to her in reply, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And her daughter was healed from that hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Meditation We ought to go up and seize the land, for we can certainly do so. Numbers chapter 13 verse 30 God had delivered the Israelites from captivity in Egypt, led them through the Red Sea, 
and brought them across the desert. Now they stood on the cusp of the promised land, just across the Jordan River, that land flowing with milk and honey. Numbers chapter 13, verse 27, was finally within reach. But as we see in today's first reading, receiving that gift did not come easily. The Israelites had sent 12 men to scout out the area. The scouts returned and reported that it was indeed a land flowing with milk and honey. They even brought back some of its fruit. Numbers chapter 13 verse 23. But after seeing mighty armies and men who looked like giants, 10 of the scouts were gripped by fear. How could the people possibly defeat these foes and take hold of God's gift of this new land? But rather than succumbing to fear, Caleb and Joshua remained undeterred. They didn't disagree with the scouts' assessment, nor did they boast in their own strength to overcome. Instead, they remembered the promise of God and trusted in it. God had delivered them in Egypt. He had promised them the land, and he would bring us in this land and give it to us. Numbers chapter 14, verse 8. Eventually, Joshua would lead the next generation of Israelites to the victory of the promised land. Joshua chapter 3. But it would take time including a long delay because of the people's lack of faith to receive this gift from God. As he did for Israel, God has promised us gifts. Jesus came to give us life in abundance. John chapter 10 verse 10. But like the Israelites, we face giants that stand in our way struggles with health, finances, or broken relationships may seem to block our path to a life of freedom. To be sure, these are significant foes. But when we turn our attention from the obstacles and fix our eyes on God's promise, we'll see victory. The more we trust in the Lord, the more will recognize the early signs of new life and the beginnings of God's promises being fulfilled. We'll begin to taste the fruit of peace and hope. Slowly but surely, our giants will begin to lose their power. We will say with Caleb, we can certainly seize the land. Lord, I trust in your promises today. Amen. We are God's hands, feet, and voice. May his peace rest upon you as you go and announce the gospel of the Lord in your words and deeds. Thank you for joining today. Abundant blessings upon you and yours. Amen. We close as always in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I'm Shirley, residential realtor for many years. As a professional, I welcome and encourage you to contact me whether you are buying or selling a home. Or, if you know like-minded people, like yourself, that you want me to help guide through this overwhelming process. Whether in the Dallas Metroplex or across the country, I'd love to assist in your real estate needs. Click the link in the description below to land on my website for a plethora of real estate information. Thank you and blessings upon you and yours.